everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. A little bit dirty. So, I'm wearing this in, in particular because someone, in fact a few people have said to us on the channel in the yeah. comments, how do you guys stay so clean? I'm always so dirty when I paint. Well, this is what I normally look like when I'm painting. Yeah. This is my painting tea, my painting shirt because it's a little cold in the studio right now. And it's this area that normally gets covered in paint because <laughs> I wipe my hands on my, on my stomach a lot. Looks like a Vorschach in ink test. But this is what we normally look like. pa -ding! We're clean and shiny. <laughs> we do our intros and outros because yes. we don't want to be wearing our dirty clothes. For exactly. You. But this boy here is actually wearing some Massey merch. Yes. It says... I'm a show pony and not a workhorse. It does because he is. <laughs> That's the truth. Dems the truth. And you can get hold of this t-shirt by clicking on the link that's in our description box. There are three t-shirts now. We've got It's Tilting Time, I'm a show pony, not a workhorse, and also Hello Ladles and Jelly Spoons. <laughs> um, all in t-shirt form, both male and female. There's v-neck, there's crew neck, and there's now sizes, in the, specifically in the men's shirts, all the way up to, I think, triple X. So nice. um, the triple, the men's shirts will also fit ladies too. Um, so please go check them out. And there's mugs and there's tote bags. Yes. So this is what we look like at the, at the table. This is what we look like normally when we're doing intros and outros. So Sunday, this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. As if we hadn't <laughs> practiced that. 12th of December at 11 Central, we're going to pour live on the channel and we're going to be doing a Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway. Yes. Which means that, excuse me, Jeremy, yep. that you'll be able to enter into the Super Chat Super Sticker raffle and get your hands on this piece. It's a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. It's in a beautiful black frame. It was a dustpan ring pour with negative space. And I have completed this one with a proprietary blend of deliciousness on top of some resin. So um, a lot of time and effort has been spent on this piece as a series. And one of these has sold for $1,500. So um, these are deaf, thank you, Shopee, reaching for it. Um, these are going to, this one piece is going to go to a very lucky winner. Yes. If you give us a super chat or a super sticker on that day, your name will go in a raffle. If that value of that super chat or super sticker is more than $10, <laughs> your name will go in twice. Yes. So there's that. Then the other thing to let you guys know about is the 12 pours of Christmas. Right. We did them ourselves last year. We poured every single day on the run-up to Christmas. This year, we're sharing in the merriment, ho, 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 with Sarah Mack and Mina Villegas. Yes. So Mina is actually going to start us off on Monday the 13th. Oh, my gosh. At 4 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern. And we're going to keep it at that time for the 12 pours. Yes. Mina will go first, then Sarah, then us. Then Mina, then Sarah, then us, all the way through to Christmas Eve. Yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of Mina fun. Mina is starting with a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, nice. Yeah, so come and watch Mina pour, and then you'll be able to follow us on the 12 pours of Christmas. I wonder why she's doing a partridge in a pear tree. Because it's the song to <laughs> a 12 pours of Christmas. I know, I was oh. being silly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and yes, you were. But no, some people might have been asking the same question. Yeah, you never know. I don't think anyone was, but someone might have been asking the same question. Yeah, they were there. We have the answer. I just noticed you have some paint on your face too. I love it. It means I've been painting. I mean, we're artists after all, and why not? Um, so, please come and join us at the table. Yes. Because we've got some more painting to do. Um, I'm going to experiment more with the triple kissing cups. Mm. And you're going to do... Um, I am going to be doing something that I gave the Patreons. Okay. A, their challenge for this week. Fine. It is a dirty pour. Yeah. So dirty pouring into a cup, into a ring pour. Uh -huh. I don't think I've seen this one done before. I haven't either, so. No, it's going to be really interesting to see yeah. this one poured on the canvas. All right, guys. Enough waffle. Let's see you at the table. Hey, guys. It's Jeremy here, and I'm super excited about today's pour. Of course you are. I am. And because uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Huh? Yes. What is that, sir? Well, I gave a challenge to the Patreons. Okay. Uh, and I and I gave them this challenge. Right. It was the dirty pour. Uh -huh. You know, you pour it dirty into the into the cup, and then 
but you're going to do a ring with it. Okay. So instead of layering the cup, you know, like like I normally do, right? I'm dirty pouring and then doing a ring out of that. And you know, I don't know if I've seen someone do this. I'm sure someone has done this before. They've probably dirty poured a cup and then was going to straight pour and then decided to ring pour it. But I've never seen you do this before. I've never done this before. So I love that you challenged the patrons yes. to do something that you'd never even done. <laughs> well, that's what and, I'm and now you're catching it. up. <laughs> now I'm doing yeah. it because yeah, I gave it. I gave it to them this week. Did you feel bad? And I was like, you know, I need to do this too. Well, like, you know, I gave it to them, so I was like, I have to do this I too. I like it. So I'm really excited about doing this. That's a beautiful um, size canvas. Thank you. It's an 18 by 24 uh, canvas. Love that size. And it's gallery wrapped. It is pinned and taped on the bottom. Okay. Um, it's ready to go. It is tight like drum. Tight like drum. Tight like drum. And because uh, we sprayed the back of it with water. Mm -hmm. And... Why don't I, I got my lovely glass mug. I'm in love with this little- Your glass jug. My glass jug. Okay. Um, get that out of the way for now. Uh, but let me introduce you to the colors that we're using. Please do. Now, Lee did something really interesting. He mixed this lovely pearl turquoise by uh, Arteza with this Deco Arts Metallics Peacock Pearl. And he mixed these two together and it came out to a really beautiful shade. Yeah, I wanted to take it out of a blue shade and into a green shade. Yeah, and it did. It's so lovely. Which it really did. I love Luscious. that one. Yeah, and we do like that peacock pearl. It's oh, a great deco art paint. I love that one. Um, and so the next one is this bluish green or greenish blue by Amsterdam. Love greenish it. Greenish blue. Yeah, it's a staple here too. Um, now this one is really interesting. This is yellow green. I like that yeah, one too. Yeah, by Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. It's bright. And this one is uh, this Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then of course we have 24 Karat Deco Arts Metallics Gold. <laughs> Metallics, Metallics Gold. <laughs> <laughs> and then next we have this, I love this, this Pearl Canary Yellow by Arteza. It's so pretty. And I added the tiniest of squirts of the yellowish green to it. Oh yeah. So it's so still very yellow, but yeah. it's just got a slight greener yellow to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. But I didn't want to make it like baby poop. So it's still very yeah, much still I'm yellow. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then next we have this Quinacridone Magenta mixed in with some of this Pink tourmaline. Mm -hmm. Now I love pink tourmaline. You do? I do. But on its own, it can be a real pain in the behind. So yes. I mixed it with the majority of it is the quinacridone yeah, magenta. Yeah, I can see that. Um, so yeah. it's, but it's just got a tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny, tiny shimmer to it. A little shimmer to it. Now, all of those deco art paints you will find in our description box. And next to it is the affiliate link to be able to go and purchase your own. Exactly. Just like all the other paints with our Dick Blick affiliate code. Yes, exactly. Now these colors are all very kind of, I wanted blues and green shades mm. with, with that pop of pink. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be really, I, I think it's gonna be really interesting. I'm really liking these colors. Now you're dirty pouring this? I am dirty layering. You're gonna dirty cup. pour it right in the middle of your canvas? I am, oh, yeah. Interesting, okay. Well, I mean, I don't have to, I can do it right here. That would be cute. Yeah, okay, all right, I'm gonna do it right here. All right, awesome. Let's do this. Now that's the one color you didn't mention, that is titanium oh. white. Titanium white, everybody. Oh, titanium. Wow. Bye, Amsterdam. <laughs> I'm gonna pour some of this in the bottom of my jug. That way I can pour into it. Lovely. Nice little layer there. Now, how much paint do you need for this 18 by 24 inch canvas? Um, for an 18 by 24 inch canvas, the way that I figured it out was you divide, I mean, you multiply the length by the width uh -huh. of your canvas. So it was 18 times 24. And then you divide that by 28. And it came out to like around 16. So Got I'm going to be doing, I mean, I'm going to be pretty much filling this cup up. This is a 16 ounce. So, but I'm going to fill this little bad boy. I'm going to give okay. a little bit more, just a little extra kick. So just over 16 ounces. Yeah, just over 16 ounces. Perfection. Yeah. So let's see here. What am I going to start with first? I think I might start with some of this bluish, greenish blue. Now question for you before yeah. you pour your first color. Yeah. Are you planning on doing fewer, thicker layers or are you gonna do lots of smaller layers considering that you're gonna ring pour it? That's a great question, probably thicker layers. Okay, all yeah. right, I was just wondering. Yeah, nice up high.
Is that it, sir? I think that is it. I think okay. I am. I think I'm good. I think I'm done. I am so intrigued. I'm right up at the two cup mark. So, all right, I got my dirty layered cup here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start ring pouring this bad boy. It's funny, I'm not used to ring pouring with a handle. Right. So this is going to be really interesting. This is definitely all in the wrist here. is coming out. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I had to stop for a second. So I'm gonna, I, I'm, I got nervous because a lot of that white is starting to come up and I just got nervous about it, but I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna trust the process. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful center. Okay guys, so as you saw, I kind of stopped and got nervous and Lee made a really good point here that whenever I'm dirty pouring, I'm pouring into white. So that white's gonna be on the bottom, all that white. So I got nervous whenever I was pouring it out and I stopped and, uh, and so I'm glad I kind of did, but at the same time, you know, I just had to keep trust the process and keep going. Right. But next time I won't put so much white in the bottom of my cup huh? when I dirty layer that. Yeah. But the, it's, it came out genius, so I'm, just, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. For clarity, I just want to make sure that we make it crystal clear to everyone because I get a lot of comments today, I'm very bossy. I didn't stop you, you no, stopped I yourself. No, I stopped myself. Yeah, okay, good, good. good. Yes, no, yeah. I stopped myself. Look at all these like crazy cells yeah, and like lacing like already. This gold. is insane. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put my flow extender around. Okay. Yes. Okay guys, so I just torched my canvas, mm -hmm. um, torched my composition so that way I got all the bubbles out just now. And I think I know what time it is. What time is it? I think it's tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this dirty Let's pour ring. Let's tilt this bad boy Dirty out. layered pit ring yeah, pour. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way with it first. Mm -hmm. to get up, get dressed, get out and get behind the wheel again I gotta see your face, I miss you miss you, I miss you Close to me, but you're still. 
Okay guys, so this is what I was thinking. So I love, absolutely love what's happening here, mm -hmm. but I think I'm going to add another little ring. Huh. I took a small cup, I dirty layered it already, Right. but I'm gonna do another ring. I don't know if I'm gonna pour this whole cup in there, Okay. Um, but I'm gonna pour another composition on, on here and then stretch it and see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, so I'm excited because I think you'll get a really fun halo of white around this one I as it's so out. Too. Well, let's see yeah, what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, go for it, big boy. Okay.
All right, guys, wow. This is absolutely amazing. I love everything that's happening with this. I'm so glad that I poured that second cup in the center. I'm loving all of this. I'm loving how this white is like encapsulating it. Um, there's so many cells going on. Dirty cup to a ring pour is a success. It absolutely is. Yes. Yeah, I love this one. Very, very yeah. cool indeed. I love that you added that second cup. It does look like a whole white halo around that piece. And yeah, it's really, really interesting. I like it a lot. It's like a really cool meteor hurling through space. It is. Space. It is. Meteor yeah, shower. I love it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and torch this one more time. Okay. We've already torched it like three times. We now. have. We can torch it one more time, and then I'm going to get my edges and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it, big boy. All right there, ladles and jelly spoons. It is Lee at the table. You know it's me because I just rolled my R's and Jeremy can't do it. Um, I am not over this triple kissing technique. Um, we've done it twice already. The first time we did it, we got two of the streams to connect and one did not, creating these wonderful kind of two compositions on the canvas. The last time we did it, we intentionally did not have the streams kissing. They kissed on the canvas and the cups kissed, but the streams did not. And someone was very um, eloquent in pointing out that a kissing paw really should have all three streams or two streams kissing. Um, and so we had a little conversation on Facebook about it. So today, as I mentioned, I really wanted to do anyway, I'm gonna try with the show pony's help to get all three of the streams touching out of these three cups. So I'm going to layer these. I'm going to do them layered rather than dirty style and the show pony's gonna help me then pour these onto the canvas. Make sense? Yeah. So I've got a 20 by 20 inch because I really wanted a square canvas on this one. So this is 20 by 20, it is gallery wrapped. Also tight like drum because the show pony has sprayed it, backed it, pinned it, done everything that he does to make it easy for me to pour. And I'm going to pour one of my cups right here and then I'm going to pour two more of these cups off camera. So we'll have three done. All right, show pony, are you ready for me? Yeah. All right, show pony, let's do this. Now in previous pours, I've always started with a layer of white and gold, and then it's created this kind of white and gold center. I don't want to do that on all of these pours, um, but I am going to put in the tiniest, tiniest layer of white. I mean, it's just going to be a dribble. Um, but I have some wonderful colors. So one of them I'm going to put bluish green. One of them I'm going to put the magenta, and then the other one I'm just going to put the wonderful uh, phalo blue, not the phalo blue, the brilliant blue. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. So let's get these or this cup layered.
All right, that is one cup down, two more to go. All right, people, wonderful, wonderful people at home. This is take two. Yes. So um, we did just pour those cups onto the canvas, but it did not work as I wanted it or as I saw it in my head. So the show pony and I are gonna try this again. We've got everything layered exactly the same way, three layered cups using exactly the same colors, canvas here with white on it. And now we're going to try and kiss these three streams together. So the show pony is gonna kiss two yes. and I'm gonna kiss the third. And we're gonna try and get it as centrally as we can. Okay. All right, show pony, you go for it. Okay, all right. I mean, that worked in terms of what the actual plan was. Yes. We've got a very chaotic central composition, but it's always gonna be damn near impossible to do a 10 out of 10 dismount on this kind of wall. <laughs> <laughs> right, show pony? I but, think it looks amazing. Well, I definitely prefer how this one came out. Oh yeah. The last one was an absolute mess, a hot mess, one would say. All right, so I'm gonna torch this one off and then we're gonna get to tilting it. All right, so we just realized that the camera that I used to try and capture that paw was now not switched on. It is a <laughs> nightmare here in the studio today. We're trying to get this, trying to do a technique and I'm, I'm just messing it up. Anyway, I'm really excited to see what happened on the canvas. That's the main thing. The overhead shot is gonna be particularly boring that you just saw, but we will unfortunately all have to make do. Um, all right, so show pony, please send me some good juju as we tilt this one out. It is now tilting time. Let's do this. Tilting time. Thank you, sir. A cold inside tore my mind, stole my peace. I prayed for ease, but feared that my days were It's hard to pass to fill that gap you need to open up all your days are over Been getting some super chaotic compositions with these kissing cups, and I don't and I don't hate it. Um, I've got some really beautiful kind of like ribbons of colours down this side here. Some really beautiful big buttery cells. Jeremy says it looks like a field of fat flowers to him, but it's certainly very cosmic and galactic looking. Um, you can see every single colour represented on the canvas, even though those three streams kiss the whole way through. Um, 
I really, really like it. It's definitely very chaotic again, as I said, but I, I really love how the composition came out. I'm going to get my edges, make sure everything is covered and that there's no more white corners. And then we're gonna take you guys in for a close up. Hope you like this one too. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, technical difficulties, a bit of messing around with my paw, but let's start with yours. Mine, I loved mine. I thought it came out great. I'm definitely gonna be doing another one of those dirty pours into a ring pour. Um, I definitely wanna experiment with that more. Uh, and yeah, I loved it. I loved it. It looks like a meteor shooting through space. It so, totally does. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. I'm so pleased that you added that central dirty ring oh, pour. Nice. It was really, really cool. But I know that you were really struggling mentally on the composition as you were tilting it out. I was. Are you happy with how it came out? Oh yeah, absolutely. Good, 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 good. good. Yeah. I really loved it. I thought it was really interesting and I'm excited to see you play with that more. I really loved my triple uh, kissing cups. This time officially kissing, every single one of the streams kissed yeah. the whole way through the pour. It was the second time we did it because the first time we messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and on the second time we did it, I didn't press the button on their camera to catch the streams collecting. So it, it was a little bit all over the place, but you guys hopefully will get to see as much of this as we can and the end result, which was really spectacular. Yeah. I like to see all those colors represented on the canvas. Jeremy said it looked like a field of flowers. I loved it. I thought mm. it was so beautiful. I loved everything that was happening with it. Thank you. Um, so many different pops of colors and cells and it's all yeah. over the place it, but it's i think it's beautiful Thank i you. loved it more to play with with that technique but i'm yeah. gonna give it a little break for a little while and challenge any of you guys out there to have a go at it if you've got a studio hobby or if you've got a third arm if you're go-go gadget or <laughs> what was it the zaphod beetle box whatever it's called from from uh, the uh, hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy please give it a go because it was a real lot of fun okay so just a quick reminder sunday Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 12th of December, 11 o'clock central, we'll be pouring live and yeah. auctioning off this piece. Uh, sorry, not auctioning off, raffling off this piece. It's gonna be a super chat, super sticker giveaway. Yes. We'll tell you more about it on Sunday when you come and join us on the channel here. And 12 pours of Christmas starts on Monday with nice. Nina at four o'clock Pacific, counting us down all the way to Christmas Eve. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Fantastic Friday night viewing, hopefully. There will be a train, Mina, I know he's pouring. I know that we've got others that might be joining us. So thank you so much for watching and being here, and we'll see you on Sunday for a live. Yeah. See you Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> see you then, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the platinum patrons, really wanna know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, 
Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson, we have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien, we've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea, we've got Jane Klein, we've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, aka, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepherson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... And you all know her lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles! Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Matty Art Studio. Absolutely. Thank you guys. <laughs>